Hello, hello, good morning. Today is Friday, um, October 22nd. And um, I'm super excited to announce I'm two centimeters dilated. And um, I'm 36 weeks pregnant, three days, I believe. Um, I just got out of my OB appointment, well, my midwife appointment, and I'm super excited just because, like, um, as you know, I'm, like, super pregnant. <laughs> so, um, I know you guys, um, just watched, hopefully watched, um, my, um, most recent video that, um, we're having this baby, um, very, very soon. Um, as you can see here, let me show you guys. I'm super pregnant. I'm bumping. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, I'm super out of breath. So, um, I, and today I am doing... While I uh, begin my work day. The midwife's brew. So I use pineapple juice instead of apricot juice because I couldn't find any. Um, so I'm just using the dull, um, like the ones in the can. And um, it was pretty hard to find castor oil. Um, but I went to Walmart and I found one. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm excited to try this. A lot of people are like, don't try it. But like my midwife... Um, she gave me the go-ahead. Um, she has like a different version herself, which we're going to go over um, next Wednesday at her appointment. Um, because she is not letting this baby um, go to 40 weeks. Just because um, I don't want a 10-pound baby. She doesn't want a 10-pound baby. And of course, you know, the sooner the better. If the baby's cooked, the baby's cooked. Now, don't come at me saying that. Like, oh, well, of course, uh, they're there for, like, a reason. Like, you want your body will tell you when it's ready. But I've been cramping, like, exclusively. I'm already two centimeters, and this is, like, my third rodeo. So I'm not a first-time mom. So nothing against anything or anyone. Um, I, I feel like this baby is coming very, very soon. So I'm going to try this out. I'm kind of nervous because I don't really – I don't like almond butter – I'm not a huge fan of uh, weird drinks. I mean, this isn't bad. It's really not bad. Maybe I'm a disgusting person. But I used uh, pineapple juice, almond butter, castor oil, um, a Zen tea. And then what else? Ice? That's it. But yeah, I'm gonna drink this whole thing and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, ideally, I would prefer to give birth over a weekend just because then my sister uh, could watch my kids. And uh, yeah, but anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on um, a baby bunny and this uh pregnancy here dang you guys my belly is huge it's so big i'm so excited i am so so excited i am i'm so happy um just because like i love growing my family and everything and you know it's so amazing i'm so grateful and I thank God that, like, he was able to bring me another little angel. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Now, um, it's only, what time is it? So, let's just do, like, the, like, it's it's 9.41, October 22nd, 2021. And um, I am drinking the Midwives Brew. I took it off of Pinterest. <sighs> And I'll keep you guys updated because I'm so excited. I might poop my, my freaking life away, but who cares? I mean, um, but my wife, midwife did give me permission. So um, just to let you know, <laughs> before you come at me um, saying like, oh, that's so dangerous. But I mean, like it's not once again, it's not my first rodeo and um, my midwife is involved and uh, we're gonna get this baby out and then I might do like the you know like the baby mama dance because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be our last because I don't think I can physically handle it again I might be wrong 
Um, but for now, I think three is our magic number. We'll see. Watch, I'm gonna end up having like five kids. But yeah, we're excited. We're super, super ready. Like not really um, home ready. Um, but we're ready to have this baby. Again, not our first rodeo. I sound like a broken record, but we already know what to do. You know, um, if you have any tips and tricks for moms of multiples, like from, like, you know, toddlers and like having more babies and stuff like that, please comment down below. Because I'm going to lose my mind, especially because I'm also a working mom. So, um, I'm still working. Um, and I hope to, um, return to work from, I can't decide whether I want six weeks or 12 weeks, but either way, I'm very grateful that I'll still have my job waiting for me. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated again. Today is October 22nd. I am 36 weeks, three days pregnant with a little baby bunny. And yeah, we're excited. Let's see if it, let's see if I'll go into labor this weekend. Who knows? We'll see. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. All right, I'm back. So it is 11.02. I finished um, the midwife's brew about like five minutes ago. So I wanna say, not even five minutes ago. I finished it like at 10.40 something. Um, I started drinking at 9.40 something. Um, and right now it's 11.02. I had a clock out of work just because I feel like <sighs> we're going to be <sighs> Dude, I'm just exhausted. I don't sleep well at night. I have cramps. Mind you, I've been having cramps on and off before Midwives Brew and, and everything. Um, maybe there's too, tem too much TMI. Um, but um, I haven't had like a bowel movement like poop um, today yet. I've gone pee, but no poop yet. Um, I don't have any like feeling of going poop, so I'm not really concerned. Um, yesterday I had really spicy Thai food, um, like the soup, um, and uh, it gave me massive diarrhea. And <laughs> I'm gonna be like real honest with you guys. Um, you know, like us women, we get hemorrhoids, and um, my Anus was on fire because <laughs> of the spice. Um, but I'm determined to get this baby out. But I just want to check back in with you guys and let you know that I finished the drink. It wasn't really bad. I think, like, the worst part was just, like, almond butter. I don't like almond butter. I don't like, um... I just don't like, uh, like, spreads. Like, I don't... I'm not, like, a, you know, peanut butter type of person. I don't like the, the thickness, the consistency. It's, it's a weird thing. It's probably, like, a mental thing. Um, then again, like, I'm also, like, psycho. But I don't like peanut butter. I don't like almond butter. Um, I think the only time that I really liked peanut butter was when I was, like, pumping and breastfeeding Lennon as a baby. And it was, like, the weirdest thing because I would, like, literally eat peanut butter out of the jar. And I just think about it, it just like makes me nauseous because I was like so disturbing that I even did that because like I'm telling you, it's like a mental thing. I just don't like the thickness of it, like the consistency, the texture. It makes me feel suffocated. So um, what helped also with this midwife, midwife's brew, I highly suggest crushed ice. Um, that definitely helped. I think if I would have drank it like warm, um, I would have like gagged <laughs> um but i didn't gag any time um while drinking it right now i kind of feel nauseous just because like i chugged it the quickest i could um but it wasn't fast it took me like an hour just to change it but then again i was also like working i had to do some training um on my work computer <sighs> but i'm just tired i'm very very exhausted i have a few things to accomplish today while my kids are at school mind you um, my kids are at school every single day of the week, except for the weekends. Now, Lennon goes to Montessori school, and then Sienna goes to daycare. Um, but Lennon gets out at 3, so I have to leave the house at 2.30. But, um, my, my main goal is to, number one, I have to return a laptop to Walmart, just because, um, we ended up not using it. And then, um, I need to finish doing laundry. I need to <laughs> deep clean 
my new couch because London had an accident, which is fine. Whatever. I'm glad that I have a carpet cleaner. Um, and then, of course, I need to um, finish um, prepping baby stuff. Like, I need a... My main goal is to actually just um, pretty much put these clothes... Well, the bottom one is a kid clothes right here. And um, the two ones up above, if that makes sense, are... Um, baby clothes. I have to do this laundry. Don't worry, this isn't poop. I'm pretty sure it's like candy or something. I've had this basket for such a long time, like five years. I'm not even gonna lie, but whatever. Call me disgusting. This is reality here. Um, I have to do laundry. This is clean. That right there is dirty. That right there is clean. Um, but yeah, as you see, like hot mess. Hot mess. I already packed my hospital bag. Um, as you can see right there. Um, and then, of course, I have to organize this. I gotta put away everything. I gotta put a sheet on this just because, of course, as you know, um, um, Bunny is gonna be here soon. And, I mean, it's a hot mess. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. Like, my room is a disaster. And, yeah, that's... It's a hot mess. Um, uh, but, as you can see... Um, I have a few things to accomplish today, and then, as for dinner, oh, sorry. as for dinner today, I have no idea what to even, um, make. Hold on, my sister's texting me. Hold on. I'm so glad that I have a good relationship with my siblings, but because, like, they're literally, like, my best friends. Um, other than, like, my kids and, and David and stuff. Um, but, of course, I have a few things to accomplish, but the main thing, I have to return that laptop. Because, as you know, Walmart, um, for laptops, they have a 15-day window, and it's, like, not even opened whatsoever. Um, but, yeah, I gotta return that, and, uh, get those things, things done, um. I'm just like really tired. I have a lot of brain fro f frog. I have a lot of brain fog. I seriously cannot talk. And I'm just tired. I'm just really tired. And I get random spurts of energy and such. But I'm really, really tired. So like right now, I'm going to knock out this basket that's right next to me. And then I'm going to go to Walmart to return that computer. And then I'm going to come back and get the clothes out of the dryer and then wash a load and then put away baby clothes and such. I need to like vacuum out this uh, changing table dresser. Um, this is a dresser that like I used for Sienna and um, I bought it used and it's like the baby little brand and like it's been through approximately, well chicken was like the fourth kid because the family before us that that was selling it, um, they used it with three of their kids. So this is going to be the fifth time that's been used. So um, I'm really glad that it's really good quality and everything like that. And I'm going to reuse it because, I mean, why not? But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to get this knocked out. I freaking hate laundry, guys. I absolutely hate it. It never ends like it never never ends it's on repeat and I wonder why I do this to myself why do I keep buying clothes especially kid clothes they go through them so quickly and everything but I'm like grateful and blessed that I'm able to do that um but yeah it's self-sabotage I'm very very tired and I hope that I could do this and I could hopefully sneak in a nap because I'm really really tired of heartburn. It's a pineapple. Gives me heartburn. Um, but anyways, I'll catch you guys um, later. I'll probably vlog um, going to Walmart. Not in Walmart, because I I mean, like, I have too much going on. I'm not going to vlog myself in Walmart. Um, but yeah, those are my plans for today. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. I suck at vlogging. I suck at editing and stuff. But one day I'll get there. Um, but yeah, I'm two centimeters. I'm super excited. Ready to get this baby out. 
because literally um i want to be able to breathe look how big look at that like this is insane you guys uh, but anyways i'll keep you guys updated bye all right you guys so i ended up folding these clothes i watched like a few youtube videos this right here i have to hang up but i'm gonna put away these clothes real quick um but yeah david is on his way home um so luckily we could pick up some lunch uh, again i'm going to try um to get spicy food because i'm like also craving it last night i died of diarrhea as you know i also died of heartburn but i did it to myself anything gives me heartburn you know um but yeah um today as you know i i need to get these done these tests done because it's like my opportunity because the kids aren't home so yeah i'm gonna put away these clothes and then um I have to vacuum. I'm going to vacuum out the drawers. And then, of course, I'm going to put away the baby clothes. And then I need to deep clean that couch. Let's do this. But, yeah.
Hello, hello, you guys. I am back. I am still pregnant. Um, uh, just quick update because it is a few days later. The midwife's brew did nothing to me. I tried it three separate times. Did nothing. And then I was hoping at least it could help with like my constipation, maybe too much TMI. But as you women know, whenever you're pregnant, unfortunately, we have the unfairest motion of bowel movements if not either we're constipated or we have diarrhea but yeah anyways so um i uh i failed in the whole um you know getting um ahead <laughs> with the midwife brew um but i'm two centimeters dilated today is october 27th still no baby um, I got a light sweep done today, and, um, I'm spotting, but it's old blood because, like, obviously, as you know, like, whenever they touch your cervix and stuff, you get partial spotting, and that's, that's fine. I've been cramping, you know, still. Um, I'm pretty miserable, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I wish I was, like, those women that loved pregnancy and, um, was, like, energetic and stuff, but unfortunately... You know, it's been really rough, um, but I'm so grateful that I'm pregnant and healthy. You know, um, they did my group B strep thing, whatever, um, last week, and it turns out I was negative, so woo -woo, I don't have to get antibiotics because um, I recently listened to um, Betch's um, podcast. I listened through Spotify, um, and um, a pediatrician was... Uh, interviewed and how antibiotics basically um it kill like your the the good bacteria the good good bacteria obviously from your baby as well and it's it's their studies find that it's um actually like hurting um you know the newer generation and everything like that like um type 1 diabetes and like you know allergies and such like that and uh i'm glad i don't have to get um antibiotics but who knows as long as baby's born healthy and everything like that um but i don't know if you guys know well my son is diabetic um he was diagnosed at 16 months but i don't i don't know if that correlates or anything like that but he, we're still going strong um but yeah Still nothing. Two centimeters. Light sweep. Um, I did a lot of walking at the mall. And I've been eating spicy food. Um, like Thai spice. Like hot, hot, hot. So, luckily, um, you know, I mean, we're getting there. No complaints or anything like that. But, as you see, I uh, moved things around just a little bit. And um, I'm using like this little um, bar stool that I got last year from Target. Um, I have Tums, Lavender, my antidepressants, um, more essential oil, more essential oils, and then of course oil, my charger, evening primrose oil as well by my side um and then i did a little bit of shopping just because like i gotta stop shopping <sighs> i'm just so tired i'm just so so tired and like i'm filled with heartburn but anyways yeah let me just put this down um anyways let me see here if i can fix this okay hopefully you guys can see me all right this is not the best angle of course, but um, I do. I've been doing a lot of shopping. Okay, um, don't judge me. But I'm so excited because I ordered a little suit for for Bunny, the baby. In case you're wondering, and um, obviously, I ordered it off for Amazon, it's Chinese and everything, or like or like Asian. I don't know. I don't really care. They have like really cute stuff. But anyways. I gotta show you. I just got this. I think I paid like 18 bucks for it. 
Now just you wait, just you wait. It's a little bunny, little. How cute is that? A little bunny little outfit. And this will be her going home outfit. So, um, yeah. Anyways. She's a little bunny, but she's actually going to look like a rabbit. Because I'm pretty sure my child is huge. Another thing, I went to Nordstrom Rack. As you know, I'm always looking for a good deal. So, if I could save a few bucks at least... Usually I order um, through Nordstrom Rack online because I have like the app. That's where I get like David's shoes um, specifically just because like I find it cheaper there. And the, that's where I also got David's sunglasses like Ray-Bans and stuff just because I keep an eye on like they have like flash deals and everything like that. So it definitely saves me a few bucks in the long run. It's either Nordstrom Rack or I go to Ross, Marshalls. Um, and then Amazon, honestly. Those are like my main go-tos when I'm looking for specific items like shoes. Um, just because like I I like I I search those deals to save money. Anyways, as you see, I did some croc shopping. I got a pair for a chicken. They're size eight, so she will grow into them. Now these are glittery. I will regret this later. I will regret this later. Um, but they're cute. Um, I couldn't find any smaller sizes as far as like for baby bunny, but she can't even walk. She's not even here yet. So yeah, these are it. They're super cute. As you see, they're like super glittery. Total, total girly girl. Like I'm, whatever. Um, and then I, of course I'm gonna match with her. But obviously glitter is not my thing. And um, I got a pair of my own Crocs. Um, now I had a pair of Crocs, like the Mary Jane ones that I used for work. And then I accidentally dried them. And then they shrunk. And it was the most depressing thing ever because I love those flats. But anyways, I got a pair just to match with the chicken. Now I didn't, I don't think that it, I got such a big deal on this. Like, they're 39 bucks, as you see. Um, but, I mean, whatever. I saved a few bucks. But, this girl's gonna be wearing these to the hospital. Because, I'm tired. And, my feet hurt all the time. So, yeah. We're gonna be twinning. How cute is that? Look, so cute. So cute. And then, of course, David got another pair. Because, we're Team Croc now. He got navy blue. Um, he has black ones on right now. And we got matching. Like um, him and Lennon are matching in case you're wondering. And um, they didn't have any of my size in the blue. So I got pink. And I'm glad I did. That way kind of like. You know. Because they weren't any like small sizes for chicken that were blue. So Yeah. We're a family of Crocs now, I guess. And I think it totaled up to, let me see the receipt. Kind of expensive. Uh, $129, that's with tax. Jesus, that's expensive. But it says, oh, you saved $30. Yeah, but this is gonna go to like my Nordy points. If you shop at Nordstrom Rack or Nordstrom, you know about the Nordy points and everything like that. But anyways, let me show you. Well, I did a little bit of shopping for the kids just because they've outgrown majority of their clothes. And before my battery dies, I just want to show you guys real quick. So I did a good old trip to H&M. Now, hold on. We went to Chipotle at the mall and I had to get like two little bags for the kids. But anyways, before my battery dies real quick, I bought a few items. And um, there's more, just wait. 
So, um, as you know, um, I like to stick to basic things. And um, by basic, I mean, you know, like sets. So, usually I go to Target, Walmart to buy like little leggings and shirts. Um, but Target and Walmart lately have been like running low on the leggings for girls. So while I was looking for leggings, I found a few shirts. So I got chicken, um, a few blouses, long sleeve blouses, um, size, let's see, 5T. So yeah, it's like pink and then it's like cheetah. That's like purplish, brownish. And then I got like a greenish blue. And then, of course, little hearts. Now, if you're wondering, like, oh, well, Arizona's really not that cold. Well, I'm, I'm buying long sleeves just because that way they don't have to wear a jacket. And then the last one, I bought a little turtleneck. Very Steve Jobs-esque. So those are, like, the long sleeve shirts I got. Chicken. And then I saw this. That's a dress. Super cute, and she loves Frozen. Not like obsessed, but she likes it. And it came with um, blue leggings. Super cute. I'm thinking maybe she could wear this for like around Christmas time or like New Year's. Um, and then, of course, I got a few pairs of leggings and pants. Hold on. Okay, so for Lennon, I got um, like a, let's see, what are these called? Well, they're pants. They're like joggers. So I got orange and then I got like a, a gray color. So super cute. And I got them in size six, six in boys. And then I got this pair that's like sage green. I love this color. And then <clears throat> I got chicken. These pair of leggings. And as you see, they have like little unicorn. And I got 5T as well. Because like, honestly, my children are growing so quickly that I'm over it. And then I got cheetah print. Super, super cute. And then I got a three pack of these leggings. David found these. He picked them out. Of course, 5T. Yeah, 5T again. And they're $24, so I mean like $6 each. Eh, it's all right. Um, not the best deal, but then it comes with like a little heart one that says, you know, I love you. And then solid pink ones. Now these solid pink ones, I know she's gonna wear underneath her, her sky costume. And then these are little kitty cats. Super cute, 5T as well. See here, super, super cute. Yeah, so that's what I got today because I'm an emotional person. So it was like retail therapy. But anyways, getting back to what's been up. Um, I rearranged a little bit of buddy stuff. Um, as far as clothes were good, diapers were good, wipes were good. I still have to like sterilize um, like the bottles and the chupes. And if you're wondering what chupes are, like chupones, like uh, pacifiers. And if you don't know, um, my first language is Spanish. So I speak Spanish, yo hablo espanol. And um, that's what I always go back to because I first think in Spanish and everything. Um, but yeah. Uh, so far we're, we're prepped. I have my ha hospital bag ready. If you guys are wondering when I'm going to upload, like, what's in my hospital bag, um, I'll probably do it tomorrow morning after I drop off the kids, because, like, Lenny goes to school, Chicken goes to daycare, and, um, obviously I'm trying to get this baby out as soon as I can, so I'm not going to work right now, and I'll probably do, like, what's in my hospital bag, and then, um, for, like, baby, and then what's in my hospital bag 
for me and David. Now, this is very like minimal because like this is my third rodeo and obviously I'm not gonna like overpack. I already feel like I'm overpacking because honestly like I'm, I just wanna go in and out of the hospital as soon as I can just because like I also have two little kibbles waiting for me at home. So, um, honestly in the hospital provides you with everything that you possibly could need including diapers, wipes, uh, a little bit of soap. They provide you with, you know, um, burp rags, um, swaddles, anything really. Like with Sienna, they even included a onesie that said Banner Health. And my midwife um, gave us a little onesie for modern day uh, midwife. So like honestly, you're set. Like you could order from the cafeteria. I gotta check if you could order like through DoorDash because... <laughs> You know, um, we're about that DoorDash life, especially David. Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, the hospital just really provides everything. So yeah. Um, that's a little update. I'll probably upload a video. We'll record the video tomorrow and upload it that same day. I want to say that. But then again, like, I'm very, very, uh, um, what's the word? Lazy right now. And I'm like procrastinating like a mother. Um, but yeah. Anyways. All is well. I'm still congested. Because my allergies yesterday was super windy here in Arizona. Which felt great. But at the same time, I'm like dying from congestion. Um, oh, what's the McCall? I have like the little bassinet little thing. Um, like the knockoff Docketot. Because I, I do love the Docketot, and I used it with Sienna. I understand why they charge so much, because it's, like, legit. And that's what got me through, like, with Sienna. Um, because Sienna didn't really, like, co-sleep with us. Um, like, not co-sleep, uh, shared the bed with us. Which, honestly, was a lifesaver, just because, like, the transition from one kid to another was really, really hard for me. And, like, Lennon was still, like... He was barely two years old whenever Sienna was born. So, like, Lennon was still, like, a little baby. So, yeah, that helped me a lot with the transition. So, I got a knockoff version. I'll show you guys probably tomorrow in the video. No, I'll probably show you, like, my baby must-haves. I know I'm all over the place, but um, I'll show you guys what are my baby must-have go-tos. Um... As far as like a diaper bag, I don't really use a diaper bag anymore just because I just use a regular backpack and like the kids have their own backpack and I just add um, spare clothes to theirs and Sienna's daycare, like I take the diapers and wipes and then honestly like I don't really need a backpack but you know I, I still carry like things like band-aids and like hand sanitizer, like the emergency things that like you don't think that you would need but like you end up using them like for example a pair of underwear like the for the kids and such so that that itself that's why I carry a backpack but um, with this being said yeah I only have a hospital bag I'm not even gonna take the boppy because there's no point because honestly like I'll just use a pillow or something um, just because it's just a hassle whenever um, I just don't want to have to like lug it around so I'm just gonna take simple enough my hospital bag and that's it and now I'm gonna be rocking my crocs um to the hospital being super comfortable and everything like that and like I mentioned like my goal is to get this baby out and come back home um just because like it's I already know what to expect and know what to do and I already have my postpartum things ready um, and like I said, the hospital provides you a lot of the postpartum stuff, everything that you need, including like the diapers, um, the tux pads, the lidocaine spray and stuff like that. So they provide you and that's why you go to the hospital too, because like, I, of course you're paying for it. Um, but yeah, in and out, that's it, but I'll keep you guys updated. Sorry about this ramble, but yeah. The midwife's route did not work for me, unfortunately. I'm still going to be trying it, um, but I mean, if she doesn't want to come out, she's not going to come out. 
Um, as far as like other things I'm doing, drinking raspberry leaf tea, bouncing on a ball, mile circuit, and I did the, the sweep today. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm super excited, but also super stressed out, which is not helping my situation just because I'm ready for this child to come out. Like literally, I am so miserable. My body hurts. I have heartburn. It never ends. But yeah, but up until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry that I went a few days um, with no update or anything like that, but I'm just over it. I'm over, over, over being pregnant right now. And like my belly is huge and I'm just over it. Like I'm really over it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I really like the fact that like I'm being real with you guys just because like honestly I don't have time to like edit a lot it's just not really a priority and this is raw like this is raw right now I'm probably just gonna combine both videos over the two days like today and the other day and everything um just because honestly that's the way I'm gonna do it for now until I get better at editing I'm just not tech savvy um I used to of course but now that like the year has gone the years have gone by it just like <laughs> i'm not with the times like i like i barely know how to use like my iphone and everything um because of all the updates and everything like that but um let me show you a quick bump let's see here one second one second here okay so this is a bump as you see this is my belly button here it is. So it's it's there. It's there. Yeah, but anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will catch you guys later in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and um, turn on the bell notifications if you like my channel. I would really appreciate it just because I want to connect with other moms, especially this is my reality, and I know I'm not the only one out there. Um, no crazy, like, editing or anything like that. This is my real, raw reality of motherhood. Working mom. You know, hot mess of a mom. But yeah. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Especially if you want to keep watching, uh, real videos of a mom. But anyways, I appreciate you guys taking the time of, um, uh, you know, watching this video. And it means a lot to me just because I want to spread more awareness of reality of motherhood versus like edit it edit it edit it you know so yeah i hope you guys are all well <laughs> all well um i hope you guys are well and safe and sound and everything don't forget to you know take care of yourself and i'll see you guys next time bye